Hello friends, welcome to Google IT Help. In this tutorial session, we are going to install MinGW, GCC and G++ compiler in Windows 11. So guys, here are some action items we are going to perform. So the first thing is, we will download and install the MinGW on the system. Also, we need to set up the environment variable. So we will see how to do that. After that, we will create and run a simple C++ program. There are some intermediate steps as well. In the those steps, we have the compilation and execution. Let's begin. First, open your favorite browser and type download mingw. Press enter and you will see some results on your first page. Scroll down a little bit and come here at this place www.mingw-w64.org. Click on it and you will see this kind of page. Click here on the downloads and in this table we have to just come downside scroll a little bit and come here minji w w64 builds click on it once you click you will see this place minji w builds and here we have the github link click on it and you will be redirected to the github website so here we have to select the appropriate installing package come here at the assets section and expand this tree you can see we have uh, so many things here and uh, we have to select this one once you click on the link the downloading will start file size is not big 68.1 mb only please wait for the downloading of this once the downloading is finished open the folder and please copy this zip file put it at put it somewhere at the safe location on your system so right now I'm putting this uh, zip file here in one of the folder. Now this file extension is .7z. So we need a software 7zip to extract this. If you don't have, please install it. Then proceed this way, 7zip extract the file to the folder. The extraction will take one or two minute maximum. So first we are doing the extraction from zip file okay once the folder is ready you can see we this has a very lengthy name so i want to short this name so i will rename this file for the convenience and now we'll go inside we will find the minji w64 folder now we have to look into the lib folder and other folder all files are in place or not so in this way we have all the files present in which we have the important one g++ and gcc.exe okay that's great now we have to use this path in the environment variable so we are going to perform the second action item because we don't have the exe on installer kind of thing in this case so we are simply jumping to the environment variable setup. Go to the search and type environment variable and you will see the result this way. And you will see our system properties window. If you don't have that option, so you can go this way as well. Go to the search type settings or system. So click on the settings, then you will have this place. And just scroll down, come to this about section, click on it and here you will see a link in the blue the third link advanced system settings click on it and this will show you the system properties window in which we have this environment variables button at the bottom just click on it as you click you will see this environment variables window under the section system variables we have to look for the path select the path and now click here on this edit button and now we have to add the path here let me show you what kind of path we have to add so we have just reached here so this is the download folder and we saw that the bin folder in our downloaded file so we have to copy the path up to the bin folder and come back here here in the section click new and paste the path Okay, this way 
we have uh, created the one path entry for our MinGW or for our GCC and G++ compiler. That's great. This is done. Close rest of the windows. We will uh, check the installation is successful or not. For that, open the command prompt and just type the simple command GCC space hyphen hyphen version press enter and you will see this kind of information. And now also you can check G++ is in place or not. Type the same type of command G++ hy space hyphen hyphen version press enter and you will see such kind of information. That means your MinGW installation or setup is properly done. We are all set to proceed for the creation of uh, the simple program. Okay, so uh, you can simply just create one a folder and inside the folder simply create a text file and uh, write some C++ program. So you can see we have a simple uh, lines of code program here and we are simply printing out the hello cool IT help message or the console. So you can save the file with the .txt extension. After that, just rename this file and save, change the extension to cpp. This way you have your cpp file. C++ file is ready here for the compilation. Now we will see the activity of the compilation. For this purpose, we have to open the command prompt. So we will open the command prompt. Let me show you. So the place where we have our CPP file, just go to the address bar, type CMD and you will see the command prompt. You don't need to change the path. You can simply go with the command G++ space program which is your file name like uh, program.cpp in case it may be different so give the name of your file space hyphen o that means we want some output file after the compilation and we want to give the name so output will be the name of our compiled file that's all press enter and you will see within second we have this output.exe file. This is the compiled file. And now we are able to run it through the command prompt. So let me tell you one important thing. If you are writing the C++ program, so you have to use G++ command to compile. And if you are using, uh, you want to compile the C program, so you will use GCC command for that. Okay, now it's time to run the compiled file. So simply we have to give the name of this file here on the command prompt like output.exe because we are on the Windows console. Press enter and you will see the execution and the result of our program on the console. So we have uh, no error on the file and uh, we got the exact output as we were expecting now in case if your program have some error then that error message will be reported on the console let me show you so i am uh, uh, trying to make some mistake in the program so i have just removed the semicolon and now again i'm going to compile the same file let's see what will happen so i just pressed enter and i found that uh, this is showing me the message that some error is present in my file in my code like uh, semicolon is expected at some place now we have to correct this file we have to uh, find out the error and we have to change the code so instead of using the this notepad file, I would suggest you to open this file in the Visual Studio Code, IntelliJ IDEA or any other ID in which you will find the uh, code writing and uh, debugging easy. So go that way and after the correction, that uh, compilation, is, compilation is successful and the execution is done and we got the output on the console. 
This is all about the installation of the MinGW GCC compiler on Windows 11. And we have seen how to run the C++ program. I hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful. Please hit the like button and please subscribe to support. And for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.